Hello YouTube, today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn. This particular one does have a 5.7 liter Hemi V8 and an 8 speed automatic transmission. And it's in the beautiful hydro blue color. I absolutely love this color, I love this blue. I am not a fan of chrome, however I saw this on the lot, it caught my eye, I had to do a video walkthrough of it. This also is the first 2021 I've seen with Ram's trailering backup system. Uh, it is comparable to the Ford Pro Trailer Assist system. And I thought it was kind of weird that it was on a Bighorn. So that is why uh, we are going to be doing a video walkthrough of this vehicle today. Starting off up front, you are going to have your standard halogen headlights as well as fog lights. Parking sensors are integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Chrome front and rear bumpers with chrome grill and grill surround. Your 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter badges right there. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, we have a very pretty 20 inch wheel. And these are, what are the Nexon Radian HTX RH5s, and I'm trying to find the tire size. It's a 275-55R20. Plastic splash guards right here. Chrome RAM badging. Blacked out mirror caps. Color matched door handles. Again, those are actually pretty nice looking wheels. Black splash guards with plastic right here to protect against rock chips and then corrosion. Chrome bumper, parking sensors again integrated into the bottom portion. Dual chrome exhaust tips. Your standard four pin and seven pin connectors. All of your chrome badging, four x four, Ram logo, and your big horn trim indicator. Backup camera is gonna be right here. Standard halogen tail lights. Right here we have your capless fuel fill port. Absolutely massive doors on this vehicle. I believe with these fifth gen Rams, they actually increase the cab size by about four inches, giving you that much more legroom, which is always appreciated for the taller occupants. Very pretty exterior. I absolutely love the hydro blue color. Let's take a closer look at the interior. So this in interior I believe is actually new for 2021 and I think it's the two-tone with black headliner. I don't know how well that's going to come through on camera because the light. I think this is new. I'm not 100%. I bet you guys will let me know in the comments below. But starting over here on the left hand side we have your lock and unlock button. Window controls for the vehicle. The driver and passenger window are automatic up and down. Right here are your mirror settings. This does come equipped with the uh, power folding mirrors, which makes parking in tight spaces a little bit easier. Right here we have your rotary dial selector for the lighting of the vehicle. To the right of that we have the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Below that you have a electronic parking brake power adjustable foot pedals. Up top, you have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, beautiful LCD display screen in the middle. Each of the four corners are programmable. You can monitor different things in each of the four corners. You can also change out the sides and the top to monitor whatever you would like, which is awesome. I absolutely love that in my truck. Leather wrap steering wheel. It is heated, which is awesome. It is actually very soft leather for a big horn. Um, typically the more uh, volume trims do not have something like this. I appreciate that. Control pad for the center LCD display, hands-free call buttons, cruise control, gear limiter. Just like on all FCA vehicles, you have a seek or scan rocker on the back of the left side of the steering wheel and a volume rocker on the back of the right side of the steering wheel. This vehicle does have push button start, 
Right up top, we have a shallow storage compartment with a 12 volt outlet. You have this almost granite looking plastic trim throughout. Very high definition. You connect touchscreen display, heated seats controlled from here, heated steering wheel controlled from here. Very high def backup camera. Very responsive. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well. All the physical buttons for the audio are going to be right here. Hazard light button is in the middle. Physical buttons for the heated seats. I like the redundancy. Dual zone climate control. Uh, rotary dial shifter. Push button transfer case. Four auto, four high, two wheel, four low. Right here we have an integrated trailer brake controller. And then right here for new for 2021 is the trailer steering system. Again, this is the first 2021 I have seen with this equipped, and it is on a big horn, which is pretty cool. Over here are the new buttons that come with the trailering system. Tow haul mode, front parking sensors off, rear parking sensors off, traction control off. Under that, you have a little storage cubby, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and auxiliary jack. That brings us to the configurable center console. This is three positions. We are in the first right now. Cup holders, chain sto change storage, and then storage tray. Second position gives us access to the phone holder as well as a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet down there. And then the third position gives us access to just the uh, center storage compartment, which I have been told fits a 12 pack uh, perfectly. So Ram thought of everything. Center armrest, pretty soft. It doubles as a two-tiered two -tiered storage compartment. First tier right here gives us access to USB port with cutout for cord management. Second gives us access to the massive storage bin down here. If you look closely, you have the previous generation of Ram trucks on this little divider. And then on the back of the lid, You've got your trigonomic ratios, standard to metric conversions, as well as your fraction to decimal conversions. Here's a closer look at the cloth seats. This vehicle does have two glove boxes, two. First one is right here, and it is accessible by pushing this button. It is LED lit. Second one is going to be right down here. Coming up top to the vanity, halogen lit for passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does have a three door universal garage remote. Right there if it'll focus. Halogen dome map lights right here. Dome light master control. Power sliding rear window controls right there. In front of that, you got some glasses storage and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. Pretty sweet. Let's take a look at the back seats and see how much leg room we so have. So like I said before, the doors are absolutely massive and they open at what seems to be almost a 90 degree angle, which means if you are loading uh, young children in car seats or big bulky items, it is very easy to do so. These seats do fold up, giving us access to a load flat floor. This guy does come with all weather floor mats, lift up, giving us access to the second generation of Ram in floor storage. It is on both driver and passenger side. Pull up on this tab right here. It gives us access to this removable tray. So if you want to put ice in here, uh, you do have centimeter markings on the short side and inch markings on the long side. Pretty cool. Getting up and in is very easy with the grab handle. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid 10 inches of legroom. I am 5'11 for reference. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Two cup holders with a cutout for a tablet. Little storage shelf right there. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, as well as a 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet. Coming up top to the headliner, hanger hooks integrated in on passenger and driver side and then your halogen dome map light is up top this center seat does have a fold down 
armrest slash cup holder. Overall, tons and tons of leg room back here. Even the headliner, uh, they do give you a little bit more room for the taller occupants back here. So I could definitely see myself being comfortable on a very long car ride in this truck. Let's take a quick look. So to open the bed on this truck, come up to the tailgate, reach underneath the backup camera, push the button, it is assisted, and all of the hinged components on this vehicle are aluminum, meaning the hood, the doors, and the tailgate, so they are very light. This truck does have a drop-in bed liner uh, from the dealership, which is nice. Four tie-down points, one in each of the four corners. Your cargo lamp is going to be right up there with your third brake light. Putting up the tailgate again is very easy. It's aluminum, it's light, two fingers, and slam it shut. Let's take a quick look at the window. So here's a window sticker. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it because of the, the tint, so I'll just go over the key features. Again, this is a 2021 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 with a base price of $43,290. Or standard equipment's right here. Optional equipment starts here and transitions over onto this page. Most notably, you have the Bighorn Package 25Z for $995. Bighorn Level 2 Equipment Group for $2,500. 5.7 liter Hemi for $1,795. And then 20 inch chrome alloy wheels, $1,595. You do have a package value savings of $2,300. And that is with the Level 2 Equipment Group for a total price of $52,990. I believe that trailer backup system is included with the trailer tow group uh, for $995. Fuel economy ratings are going to be right up here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. I want to give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle specifically or any of the 2021 Ram lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Uh, contact Andrew Johnson. Uh, he will go over all of the deals, discounts, rebates, and incentives you can qualify for. He has personally helped me with my vehicle purchase and he will work with you to get you the best deal possible. In the comment section below, tell me what your favorite feature of this vehicle is and why. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.